All right, we are back, and I thank you for your time uh, attending these. Uh, this is week two uh, weekly diagnostic tips by Joshua Cheshire. We are going to talk this week, um, special request by uh, Stephen Gregory, how to completely wipe the scan tool and resell. Um, so this is going to be, let's um, take it from 90 days out. Um, so let's say customers had the scan tool. It's been six months. He loves it. He wants to upgrade to um, the 2.0A. So you're going to take his Max Me or his Max Go. You're going to bring it in on trade. We're going to show you how to wipe it clean and have it ready to sell to a new customer. Um, again, this is this is over 90 days because obviously if it is shorter than 90 days, we can simply call Macro Diagnostics, do a factory reset on the tool itself. It'll reset the warranty. It'll reset the uh, software subscription, all that good stuff. So uh, keep that in mind. This is for over 90 days. Um, but why would we uh, want to, um, you know, factory data wipe one? You know, there there's all the time doing updates. Um, you know, weekly, Wi-Fi may drop in and out. You may get a partially downloaded file that's not operating properly, slowing the scan tool down. You Facebook with it. You've clicked on the link. You've been on the Internet. You've downloaded the virus. Whatever may be that's causing your demo to run slow, or maybe customers complain about it. You have no idea what they do with it in the off time. Uh, it is a fully open Android tablet, so they could have downloaded some third-party apps that are causing it to eat up the processing speed. Whatever it may be, this would be a great way to wipe it down, reinstall, and start from scratch. Um, you know, if you've got a unit that's being traded in, a repossession, unit, a voluntary repo, whatever it may be, um, this is how we're going to completely delete all of the account information on the tool, any personal items, anything like that, and get it ready to sell. I've got a video that we're going to play here, so I hope the audio comes through just fine. Um, if not, we'll figure something out, but uh, let's get to it, and then we'll do a little more talking after. All right, what we're going to cover is going to be if you took a unit in on trade or had to repossess a unit or test for a tournament, and you were going to take this tool and you were going to reset it so that you can reset so what you're going to do is we don't know what the customers use the tablet for, what websites, Facebook page, viruses, anything that may have been downloaded. So I always encourage a complete wipe. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit the home button. We're going to go into our settings. Right here. We're going to scroll up to back up and reset. And then we're going to do a factory data reset. It's going to delete it all. Reset and erase everything. Now it's going to power off. And it's going to come back. And it's going to load our little Android dam. And it's going to run the... Uh, Racing and reloading. Now we'll just cut this short so that way we can uh, save some time. All right, that was actually a lot quicker than I thought. It only took about a minute, and uh, we are reloading now. Now what this does is it erases everything off of the tablet, so it'll have just the factory stuff. So we'll still have to install the Max Go software into the system, which is uh, fairly simple. There's two ways of doing it. We're going to obviously go the quickest and easiest way first um, to make this happen. Here we go. So now we're all the way back to the beginning, just like it was unwrapped.
Now, obviously, at any point there, we could have put in any information that we needed to for a future customer. Um, if we're selling it, so we're using three settings, we can all blank, um, however you want. All right, so we've got it up and going. And as you can see, there is no Mexico software and nothing is loaded. So, we're going to go into our file manager. We're going to take our SD, CM launch, max go, and we're looking for right down there that APA. Nice, easy, right next, next, and install. Allow Google. Absolutely, we trust Google. And this will install the software. So once this is completed, we can then log in with an existing account, uh, which is going to be the username and password for this tablet. Um, unfortunately, we cannot create a new one. And I'll show you what I mean. Because this is all set up based off of the first account, and we're assuming this is over 90 days, is uh, doing a repo or uh, trading in. So at this point, um, we can actually go to our login up here. And this is where you're going to either select new registration. Or you may have to call Diagnostics in order to get the username, and they can reset the password for you to log in. So that's how you're going to wipe the tool down and get ready to sell. Okay, so um, right there on that screen, uh, the new registration will be for like a brand new unit, where you would have to have an activation code and all that good stuff. Um, now, you can call Macro Diagnostics, give them the serial number, tell them what's going on, you just, you know, took it on trade and you need the username, and they will reset the password. Now, when they reset the password, it defaults to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Um, so, you can access the tool. There is a website that is dbscar.com. That is Delta Bravo SierraCar.com. On that website, you can log in with the same username and that default password. And at that point, when you sell it to a customer, you can put in all of their personal information. Um, you know, bring a username, new email, uh, all that good stuff. So you can still personalize the tool at that point, but you have to go to the website. Or Macro Diagnostics can actually input all that information for you as well. So you don't have to go through that website. Um, so there are options there as well. But this is how you can, you know, completely wipe the tool clean, uh, get rid of any viruses, any bugs, anything that may have been downloaded or installed on it, um, you know, moving moving forward to speed it back up. So we do have the YouTube channel that is, uh, that is up online. Obviously, it's where you're watching this video. Uh, so stay tuned with it. Uh, I do want to let you know that the uh, once we get a hundred subscribers, we can customize the the URL, so it will be a lot easier to pass off to other distributors and or you know customers that want to get on and look at some of the ten, the channel stuff that we're doing as well. So uh, make sure you hit subscribe, like the video, so that way we can customize a little bit more as we move forward, make it more user friendly for the end users and for you as well. So I uh, appreciate it, and uh, we'll look for you on uh, week three. Y'all have a great week, and go Macro Tools.